Welcome to the Dynon channel, Skyview architecture and planning a Skyview system. When planning the installation of a Skyview system, a good first step is becoming familiar with the components required and options available. In this video, we will cover what components are necessary to enable the full capabilities of a Skyview system. Although many customers choose to install multiple screens, Skyview can offer essentially a full panel in a single display. A full six-pack of primary flight instruments are encompassed in Skyview's primary flight display, or PFD. Course guidance is also incorporated in the primary flight display. Engine and system information is available on the screen with layouts customizable by the user. Dynon's Modes transponder is controlled through the Skyview display. The pilot controls the transponder through the display's interface. The Skyview Movie Map display can provide essential navigation information, like airspace boundaries, airport facility data, and terrain and obstacle clearance information. The map can also be configured to provide numerous GPS and flight plan data blocks, like time remaining, distance to go, cross-track error, and waypoint sequencing. Control of the autopilot and the autopilot status is all contained in the Skyview display. Finally, the order and configuration of the display itself can be easily manipulated by the user. The architecture of the Skyview system is what provides any one Skyview display with its capabilities. Central to Skyview's role as a primary flight display is the system's Air Data Attitude Heading and Reference System, or ADHARS. Engine monitoring is accomplished through Skyview's Engine Monitoring Module. The GPS receiver antenna is central to the Skyview's ability to provide a high-resolution synthetic vision and terrain display, along with the moving maps navigation functions. The available MODES transponder meets FAA 2020 mandates for ADS-B-capable transponders, as well as provide TIS traffic where available now. Skyview's compatibility with IFR-certified GPS avionics and other hardware that communicate over an ARINC 429 bus is accomplished through an ARINC 429 interface module. Backup emergency power to the Skyview system can be provided by Skyview backup batteries. Autopilot servos are all that's required to enable autopilot function in the Skyview system. The Skyview system is capable of working with up to four displays. Work on future communications, advanced automation, and in-flight information functions are all underway here at Dynon. A Skyview system layout will consist of single or multiple Skyview displays, primary flight display components, engine monitoring components, autopilot servos, a remotely mounted MODES transponder, and ARINC 429 interface modules if required. The following graphics will give a general idea of a typical system layout in a traditional style aircraft. Central to the primary flight display is the system's primary and secondary if installed Air Data Attitude Heading and Reference System modules. The Model 200 ADHARS is the primary unit, and optionally, a Model 201 secondary unit can be added to the system as a backup. The ADHARS module accepts the aircraft's pitot-static inputs and provides airspeed, altitude, vertical speed, and optionally, angle of attack information to the Skyview displays. An outside air temperature, or OAT probe, connects to the ADHARS module so that Skyview can provide the pilot with density altitude, true airspeed, and current temperature. A magnetometer provides heading information to the system and consequently requires that the module be mounted somewhere void of strong magnetic interference. Roll, pitch, and yaw attitude, including acceleration and trajectory information, are also measured by the ADHARS module. The Dynon AOA PITO probe can be incorporated into the system to provide the Skyview ADHARS module with PITO and angle of attack inputs. The Dynon AOA PITO probe is the only component designed to provide AOA inputs to the Skyview ADHARS module. Only the mass style is offered in a 12 volt heated model. Dynon AOA PITO probes are compatible with all Dynon EFIS systems. The Skyview ADHARS module is one of the components that communicate via the Skyview network. Connections to this network are made through standardized 9-pin D-sub network connectors. The Skyview Network Hub is designed to accept up to 5 D-sub connections, thus allowing easy distribution and expansion of your aircraft's Skyview network. 
While each SkyView display has two D-sub connections on the back, installation with two screens will require that one of those connections from each display be used to connect the two displays together. The network hub can therefore facilitate the easy connection of multiple screens, primary and backup ADHARs, as well as autopilot servos and ARINC 429 interface modules. In the event of ship's power loss, emergency power can be provided by SkyView system backup batteries. The backup batteries can provide up to 60 minutes of power to the SkyV system and one is required for each SkyV display. The autopilot cannot be powered by the backup battery. SkyV backup batteries can be remotely mounted and connect in to the main wiring harness of their associated display. GPS position information is provided to the SkyV system by the SkyV GPS receiver antenna module. The 5 Hz receiver module feeds a high data rate of position information to the system, thus enabling a smooth synthetic vision and moving map display for the VFR GPS navigator. The GPS receiver antenna connects into the SkyV display main harness and can be powered by that display's associated backup battery in the event of ship's power loss. Enabling the engine monitoring system, or EMS, in SkyV requires an EMS module with associated power plant and aircraft system probes. The EMS module itself can be mounted close to the engine, typically the cabin side of the firewall, where all engine and aircraft system sensors can be conveniently routed to. In rear engine mounted aircraft, routing all engine sensors to the remotely mounted EMS module saves considerable weight and hassle. Along with enabling the monitoring and power plant and aircraft system parameters, the EMS module also provides visual and RL warning, caution, and advisory messages to Skyview. The EMS system is highly user configurable and customizable with three different screen size layout options as well as countless display configurations. Dynon can provide sensor kits for Lycoming, Continental, Rotax, and Jabiru engines. Autopilot function can be added to any Skyview system through the addition of Dynon avionics servos to the Skyview network. One or two access capability is available and controlled through any SkyV display. Dynon servos are offered in standard or long arm and capstan styles. Three sizes of servos are available in 36, 55, and 72 inch pounds of torque. Installation kits for most Vans RV model aircraft are also available. Installation guidance for other experimental type aircraft is listed through our Autopilot Wiki, available under Frequently Asked Question Wiki in the support section at dynonavionics.com. Further function of SkyView is enabled through additional components attached to the greater SkyView system. These functions include MODES transponder capability and an interface with ARINC 429 based external avionics components like an IFR certified GPS. The remotely mounted SkyView MODES transponder allows flexible placement options and a lightweight compact design. The unit is compatible with FAA 2020 ADSB mandates and provides ADSB out position information to ATC while providing TIS traffic to the pilot. TIS traffic shows up on the SkyView PFD and moving map. All transponder controls are accomplished through the SkyView display interface. The SkyView ARINC 429 interface module provides a link for the SkyView system to communicate with avionics that utilize an ARINC 429 communication bus. Typically, the ARINC 429 interface module is used to link Garmin 430, 530, or 650, 750 certified GPS navigators to the SkyView system. This link then enables GPS steering, CDI auto scaling, and vertical guidance on the SkyView. For more information on the planning or capabilities of SkyView system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com where you can find links to our SkyView installation guide and other valuable resources like our user forum. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.